An almost 400 mile long massive crack and ground displacement live on camera. A crack, a movement, an earthquake that has ripped a tree in half from the bottom up all in this video. The forces of the earth captured live on a surveillance camera. I'm about to show you that video. It's a rare surface rupture that was captured in this newly released video when the magnitude 7.7 .7 Myanmar earthquake happened. And we're not talking about some small rupture. This is long. This is miles and miles and hundreds of miles of rupture. So this comes from a security camera and the ruptures that you see behind me this is part of the whole horizontal displacement that was happening on march 28 2025 when the 7.7 .7 earthquake near mandalay myanmar happened and the surveillance video that you'll see later shows a rare surface rupture along the sageng fault and we will see the ground visibly splitting and shifting laterally. And that offers a very rare ground level view of a strike slip fault in motion. This earthquake was devastating. It struck at 12.50 p.m. local time with the epicenter just only 8.7 miles, 14 kilometers north northwest of Sa Geng, and it resulted in almost 6,000 fatalities, almost 12,000 injuries, extensive damage to infrastructure across central Myanmar and also Bangkok. Because the quake was so shallow, only 10 kilometers, that's 6.2 miles, it has, to, it, it has led to intense ground motion that has damaged roads, railways, and numerous buildings, including historical structures in Mandalay. So that earthquake has ruptured a section of the Sageng Fault. The Sageng Fault is roughly 750 miles long, that's 1,200 kilometers. It's a major right lateral strike slip fault that is running north to south through Myanmar. So what is a strike slip fault? They are vertical or nearly vertical fractures where the blocks have moved mostly horizontally. And if the block that is opposite an observer uh, that's looking across the fault moves to the right, the slip sty style is themed right lateral. And if it moves to the left, it's left lateral. So that's what we're dealing with here. The Saigang Fault is a major fault in Myanmar, a mainly continental right lateral transform fault between the Indian Plate and the Sunda Plate. And it links the divergent boundary in the Andaman Sea with the zone of active continental collision along the Himalayan front. This video that you're seeing here behind me right now it may be the first fault rupture ever caught on video this is a security camera for gp energy myanmar that camera was rolling capturing the moment when the earth was splitting and geologists are sharing this video all over the world and they're expressing their amazement at everything this video captures because they say there's a lot to see and you likely won't catch it um, all the first time you watch it. So the most dramatic moment is when the entire landscape on the right side of the screen slides forward by several feet. So really watch it closely, watch the right side of the screen sliding forward several feet so significantly. Then we see the cracks appear in the driveway and then a transmission tower topples. A water tank falls off a building. I haven't seen this the first time I watched it. And then the ground between the two buildings at the far left buckles and falls away. 
There's potted plants along the driveway. Go sliding past ones that are on the opposite side of the plate. There you see how this is all shifting. And a distant tree at top center jerks just before we see the movement in the land closer to the camera. And then also a bird appears to make a hasty flight downward. So would you have seen all that that I just mentioned? That's why I keep replaying the video for you behind me so that you can really see that. And you should probably repeat this segment of the video to really repeat what I'm saying and then really watch the video because this is really groundbreaking and it's significant. And I also want to show you a picture that was then taken of that rupture that we saw on the camera. And I think there you even see the magnitude of, of this. So the what we see on the picture here, the webcam was positioned on the opposite side behind that gate. So since that Sageng fault is a major fault line, where the Indian and the Sunda plate meet. And as always, where plates meet, they can move towards each other, away from each other, or slip past each other or underneath each other. And this video, and that's why this is so great, it provides us clear evidence of the side-to-side -side movement of a strike-slip fault. One side of the land clearly moves past the other. And earthquakes occur along strike slip faults because the pressure builds up between the two plates. And then the shearing forces eventually cause a block of earth to shift. And in the video here, we see the right side move laterally. So this is an example of a right lateral strike slip. And Maybe the San Andreas Fault in California comes to mind because it's also a strike-slip fault. And the problem with the San Andreas Fault is it has been worn so smooth that when the next earthquake hits there, there's nothing from keeping it from growing to a magnitude 7 or 8. Wow. That's why the big one that is overdue and expected in California can be very, very bad and devastating. And what the scientists are saying about the San Andreas Fault, because it's so smooth that it can cause this high earthquake, someday, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a decade, probably in the lifetimes of many people that are alive right now, some point of the fault will lose its frictional grip and start to move. Once it does, the weak fault with all that stored energy will have no way of holding it back. And we know the southern part of the San Andreas Fault is locked and loaded right now. And also there's very interesting radar images from the Copernicus Sentinel-1 satellites that have caught the before and the after of the ground shift in Myanmar. So where has this video been filmed? It's Green Power Energy Solar Project that is located in Ta Pui Wa. And this village is south of Myanmar's second largest city, Mandalay. And so it would be in the vicinity of the epicenter of the March 28, 7.7 earthquake. What is very interesting and also like shows us the magnitude and the, the force that was behind it. So seismologists have reported that the Saigang Fault ruptured over 250 miles long, over 250 miles, 400 kilometers. And this rupture is among the largest globally, has exhibited, they call it a super sheer speed, traveling faster than the speed of sound following an initial slow phase. And then the ground shaking extended over 100 kilometers, 62 miles, um, enormous. And after scientists completed their evaluations, they have confirmed that the fissures that were created by this earthquake 
um, have extended over a remarkable distance of 500 kilometers, which equates to more than 342 miles. You see the rupture there that goes through the land. You see the displacement of the road that it's not even on a straight line anymore. The railway, um, this is not normal. This has been created by the, the, the fault line. And the shallow depth has amplified the ground shaking in the region. That's why we see so widespread structural damage. Then there was liquefaction where saturated soil temporarily loses strength and behaves like a liquid, like a jelly. That was observed in multiple locations that has further intensified the damage. And then only 12 minutes later, there was an aftershock of 6.4 and continued seismic activity in the following days has sustained concerns about regional stability and secondary hazards. The researchers from the John Hopkins University and the USGS, they have used these satellite images to map that surface rupture and to assess the structural damage in Mandalay. And this rapid geospatial analysis has supported emergency response teams because they were able to identify the most affected areas. Um, so this really makes clear how important the satellite data are for real-time assessment of earthquake damage. And I have made a video. They might now be able to predict it or at least measure movements of fault lines like the San Andreas fault or this one here in real time, a movement only as wide as a hair, one hair. Here at this fault, what's also outstanding is that for the first time during a large magnitude earthquake, a submarine telecommunication cable network that was equipped with more than 100 seismic sensors has detected the ground motion in real time couldn't give a warning because it was real time, but the system has provided continuous seismic data during the event. So that offers, of course, valuable insights into offshore ground motion. So guys, I hope you found that interesting because that video really shows us life in real time, what happens during an earthquake and really how the ground shifts. And for me, this is always important if people think, okay, uh, you know, if you're on the coast, for example, in an area that's prone to tsunamis and they think, oh, I just drive up the road up the hill and I'm safe. Well, will you still be able to drive on that road or will you have to run on foot? But if you see the fractures, can you even run? And on the West Coast, Cascadia Fault, for example, if you're right on the coast, Washington, Oregon, Northern California, or Southern British Columbia, you have only eight to 15 minutes to get to higher ground. That just on a side note, guys, if you like the video and want to support the channel, check the links in the description. You can buy me coffee at my buymeacoffee.com slash silky side. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for everyone who's becoming a supportive member of this channel. You just have to click the join button. Thanks for your supers. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing. I hope I see you safe and prepared in the next one. Enjoy beautiful spring if it is spring where you are. And I see you very soon. Bye.